The Eudora Pedestrian Safety Committee is a coalition of parties interested in safe walking and bicycling in the Eudora area. Structurally, it's a subcommittee of Safe Kids Douglas County, a safety organization sponsored by Lawrence Memorial Hospital. The goal of the committee is simple enough, to improve the safety of pedestrians and bicyclists in and around the Eudora community. As Eudora has grown in population, more and more people are taking to the streets. Many children walk to and from school. Adults and children alike are looking for healthy outdoor experiences for recreation and exercise. The problem is that people and motor vehicles may interact in a dangerous way. This crash occurred in 2006. A three-year-old girl and her father were hit by a car one fall evening. Both were transported by helicopter ambulances. Luckily, the young girl suffered only minor injuries, even though she and her father were both hit by the car. Her helmet helped protect her head from serious injury. Prevention strategies work. While we know that engineering, education, and enforcement can make a community safer, it's important to know how the public feels about the priorities. In 2008, planning meetings in Eudora arrived at several conclusions about transportation safety in Eudora. This brings us to our main objective, to build a safe way for people to get across K-10 Highway for access to neighborhoods, schools, and businesses. Here's the map of where all the Eudora School System students live. They are equally dispersed in every area of Eudora, making a connection north and south essential. Currently, the school district operates a school bus shuttle service among the various centers and discourages students from walking over the existing Church Street 1061 bridge. Adding a walkway to the side of the existing bridge was considered, but engineers from the county and the state say this is not feasible because of the problem with getting people past the ramps, bringing cars on and off of K-10. And even if pedestrians are able to cross the bridge and the ramps without being struck, there's no safe place to walk on this main north-south arterial route. Here's an overview of a plan that would not only connect north to south, but would produce a connection to 10th Street via Cedar Street and a walking route around the high school and middle school. This could be done in phases. The proposed bridge is in yellow. New neighborhoods in Eudora don't need these upgrades because they're being built with infrastructure sidewalks. Recent upgrades to downtown make Eudora more attractive to those who would consider living or doing business here. Quality of life issues do make a difference in this competitive economy. A well-maintained infrastructure makes Eudora more attractive. Actually, Eudora is historically significant in terms of transportation. Pascal Fish operated a ferry which connected the Leavenworth Road to the Oregon, California, and Santa Fe trails which ran south of the Kansas River. Today, K-10 is our river that needs crossing. A pedestrian bridge is the modern-day equivalent of the Fish Ferry of yesteryear. Here are engineering drawings of a proposed bridge route. There are two options, both connecting north and south Eudora at about Elm Street. Option A is longer and more expensive. It lands on the south side of 20th Street. Option B is less expensive and lands on the north side of 20th Street, just to the west of the present veterinary clinic. A connector trail from the north could eventually tie 10th Street to the recreation center via Cedar Street. This would then connect the west side of Eudora to the new bridge. Transportation Enhancement, or TE funds, would pay 80% of the bridge construction. The money from the federal government is designed to create pedestrian and bicycle friendly environments. The Eudora Pedestrian Safety Committee has been working since early 2008 on making Eudora safer for people to walk or bicycle. We are active and meet monthly. We gladly welcome citizens to our committee.